Thank you, ma'am. Does anyone else wish to uh, speak to the committee on this this piece, this legislation? <clears throat> Oh, pardon me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, Give us your name and who you represent, please, okay. ma'am. My name is Kathleen Gary, and I'm a resident of the Cap County, and I'm also one of the people in Georgia who has a microchip. And I've been talking to the different legislators and trying to, to get help in trying to outlaw this uh, the implants. Um, I want to speak particularly on the medical issue of the micro, uh, the microchip that she mentioned. And um, I've just got a few things. Microchips, they infringe on issues that are fundamental to our very existence. They're our rights to privacy, our rights to body integrity, the right to say no to foreign objects being put in our bodies, specifically the right to refuse microchips being put in our bodies by the government, uh, whether or anyone else, the right not to be tortured in our homes by uh, these microchips being scanned by electronic devices that, are, that is happening, and to activate these microchips, the right to work without being tortured by coworkers who are activating these microchips by using their cell phones and other uh, electronic devices, the right to just live uh, work, worship, attend school, attend church services about without being um, further torture from these microchips. It's, it's actually torture. It's just not just a little implant that you put in. You're actually tortured by these, um, these microchips. When they are scanned, they cause the body all kind of problems. Um, microchips are like little beepers. And just, um, just imagine, if you will, having a beeper in your rectum, a, a, a gentle area, and the most sensitive area of your body, and your beeper number is displayed on billboards throughout the city, all done without your permission, with an award available for each caller. Hundreds of people calling you, blowing up your beeper, vibrating it in your flesh, invading your privacy rights to your own body, You'll follow and torture everywhere you go. You travel all over town trying to get somebody to help you get it out. And you, um, but instead, you feel the shocking pains from the tip of your spine to the bottom of your feet. It's a, like a grounding effect. Uh, blurred vision, headaches, stomach pains, cramps, muscle spasm, uncontrolled blood pressure, uh, issues on two or three blood pressure pills, uh, fatigue, stinging and burning skin, loss of concentration, uh, ringing in your ears, heat sensation to the skin from the scanning devices, uh, frictions of the vibrations that's going on with somebody calling and dialing and this thing is working constantly in your flesh. It's torture every single day and every time you try to find help you go to doctors uh, and their hands are tied from giving you the proper medical um, treatment that you need and deserve. Thank you ma'am. I think we and got a question from one of the uh, committee members, Ms. Oliver, is it yours? No. Who was it? Somebody on the end? Mr. Weldon? Uh, Ma'am, did you say you have a microchip? Yes, I do. And this, this microchip was put in my vaginal and rectum area. And I have been dealing with uh, a rape and sexual assault with uh, them trying to take it out. When you try to make people accountable for what they have done to you, then they go to any extremes in trying to get it removed. And these are the issues that anyone, not just me, but any person who want to make people accountable for the implant that they put in them, they will deal with all kind of harassment, all kind of torture as a result of you speaking up. Let me get him going. Do you want to ask me for <coughs> anything further from any members of the committee? Ms. Garvey, is Ms. Garvey, is that right? Did I have a name right? 
Gary, Miss Gary, is yeah, it? Miss Gary. Excuse me. Okay, sorry, Miss Gary. And and that one other thing you mentioned, uh, gentlemen, uh, you mentioned about the implant and being being put in criminals. I feel like our right to this deals with our right to our body integrity. This is a God-given right. When we are born, we are naked. We only have our bodies. Well, let me yeah. ask. Let me ask. Hold your comments. We can get some questions to you. Okay. Mr. Maddox. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I guess I may have just missed it. I was just curious. You're saying this was an uh, involuntary? Involuntary, implant? yes. I am in the U.S. Appeal Court right now. This case has been going on for the last eight, um, eight years, and we're trying to get some um, help in trying to, to get this outlawed and get some justice in that. Um, I feel like Senate Bill 235 is on the right side of justice. This is an issue that right, is ongoing. Let me ongoing. Hold your comments. We'll get the questions done. Okay. Anything further, Mr. Maddox? That's all. All right. <clears throat> Anything further from the committee? Let me ask Ms. Gary this. Who implanted this in you? I, I, think I feel like mine is... You don't know who did it? I, yes. The, I, I'm one of the federal government research with this microchip. And who in the federal government is in plan? This is like? the Department of Defense. All right. And this is the court case that is uh, pending before <coughs> the U.S. Appeal Court. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else wish to address the uh, committee that hasn't had a chance to speak? If not, we will close off public input. Yes, ma'am. You have to come around and let, mm -hmm. let you take a seat here. I'm uh, Marjean Burt, Alfreda, Georgia. I uh, have several people from an organization up there that's standing here. They might like to raise their hands that are opposed to it. Put, the, put your hand, we, put the mic down where they can hear you a little better now. I said that there's several other people that are with me here today that might like to raise their hands that are opposed.